everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. So, naturalnews.com uh, hit on a subject that I haven't talked a lot about recently, and I thought, what a, what a good refresher, you know, just to talk about geoengineering, to talk about weather manipulation and control. You know, a lot of people poo-poo the idea that we have absolutely no control over the weather. When in fact we know that they possess much more control than they say they do. As a matter of fact, Natural News reports that 175 U.S. patents prove that geoengineering and weather control technologies are real. You know, I was just uh, watching a documentary by Dr. Stephen Greer. And it's interesting because he gets into the alien technology that we possess and not just the United States, but all governments of the world have had, according to uh, Dr. Greer, have had interactions with extraterrestrial life. And with that comes technology. And a lot of that technology has not been passed on to us. We don't have any concept or clue as to what they have. And it's not out of the realm of possibility, folks, to conclude that the government would possess technology that they don't want you to know they have. And one of them is the, the technology to manipulate the weather. And it's not just their technology. You've got private corporations. Weather mod modification, I think it's weathermodification.com or something like that, that, you know, they, they sell their services to countries all over the world. And... We've seen technology like uh, that of Dr. Bernard Eastland, you know, HARP, where you can send billions of watts into the ionosphere. You can heat the ionosphere. You can change the pressure zones. You can steer storms. Now, maybe not to where you can, like, make it stop on a dime or make a 90-degree turn or anything like that, but you can certainly intensify. You can certainly uh, break one up. You could certainly alter its course somewhat just with uh, the technology of HARP and also scalar technology. You know, all you got to do is look up the work of uh, Dr. Tom Bearden. And, I mean, that'll open your eyes to a lot of things in regards to longitudinal electromagnetic waves and how they use it in so many different ways. But Natural News says the United States government has granted patent approval to at least 175 inventions in technology that are officially recognized to control or augment weather systems. Now, uh, Dane Wigington, of course, is the founder of geoengineeringwatch.com, and you can go check out that website. It's a great place. But he's been mocked by the mainstream media for daring to claim that the weather control technology actually exists. And you have scientists come out that says, well, you know, you can't really do that. Uh, it's not really reliable, uh, but it really is. Now, with back-to-back -back superstorms targeting the United States in less than two weeks, Hurricane Harvey and Irma, and then, of course, we had Maria, more and more people are asking the question, are these storms being influenced? Are they being augmented or steered, intensified? What is it? What's going on? You know? Are those trails that you see in the sky, are they meant to prevent global warming? Or is it meant to bring about an environment that causes this extreme weather in order to bring about this idea that global warming does exist and that need for that carbon market exists? You got to remember, a lot of elitists like Al Gore and others, have hitched their wagon to the Global Warming Express. And they have built taxpayers around the world out of billions and billions of dollars. You know? And it's sad. It's absolutely sad that people fall for this bunkum. And that's all that can be said. You know? But science organizations all over the world who poo-poo this idea that we can control the weather. And I don't mean like fully control, 
but you certainly have more influence over storms. Uh, personally speaking, I can tell you that just based on the patents that I've researched, we have the technology to at least make a token effort to steer these storms out to sea or dissipate them by changing pressures around the storms, which you can do. You know, also, the cloud seeding. We've been cloud seeding now since the 1940s, probably even sooner than that. We conducted experiments and used it in open warfare in Vietnam, weather control techniques to make the monsoon season absolutely unbelievable and flood out the Ho Chi Minh Trail. We did that. Documented. So we have a lot of tools at our, at our disposal to change the weather. Now, not us, personally, but our government does and absolutely uses it in order to get what it wants or the special interests, what they want. And I know a lot of people out there are poo-poo it. Now, but it's true. It's absolutely true. If you think about it, look at these two storms that hit. At a time when every economist is screaming from the mountaintop saying, the economy's falling, the economy's falling, the economy's falling. Watch out, watch out. Correction on the way, correction on the way. Think about what would bolster a lot of these markets a lot of the consumerism in America than two good storms that just ravage two very populated areas. You're going to see a huge boost in the new houses market, uh, the rebuilding of all these houses. They're going to have to have toilets. They're going to have to have sinks. They're going to have to have appliances. They're going to have to have carpeting. They're going to have to have all this kind of stuff that's going to boost at a minimum the local economy, but might also provide a boost to the gross domestic product. And look, every disaster and every crisis, these folks will take advantage of. So it's not out of the realm of possibility to say, hey, why don't we just pump some energy into this thing and make it go from a cat one to a cat five in about eight hours? Hmm. It happened. I mean, these are things that you, you are right and it is responsible to question because when we do and we start looking at a lot of these patents which you can go and check them out yourself and it's there's some amazing stuff on here amazing stuff you'll come to find out that all those tinfoil hatters you laughed at uh were right again i'm joe joseph this was the daily sheeple.com's new shot feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.